You know, it just happened. And we, we just did us. We, we would go to what they call midnight musicals and everybody sing an A to B selection. <laughs> we would go and be us. We weren't trying to be anybody else. The group that came before us, they could shout the place down. And it would be, you know, everybody would be in their whole shout moment. Cheapy mob would get up there. We weren't trying to shout you. We weren't trying to church you. We could get up there and do what we did. And that vibe had to happen at rehearsal. That's why when you came to rehearsal, something mm -hmm. happened. When you came to rehearsal, you thought it was amazing because I believed in amazing rehearsals. I didn't believe in just having rehearsals just to sing good. I, I believed in having amazing rehearsals because when you have amazing rehearsals, you're going to have amazing performances. I still believe that. There were, there were some of the rehearsals that I remember the spirit just engulfing the whole place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I was just like, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't escape it. You, can, mm -hmm. you have to. Fit. It, it was intense. So some of the rehearsals I remember went, went very hard. And, and there were moments that I felt like didn't get shared, but they didn't need to be, you know? Um, oh, yeah. You would go in that rehearsal and you would just let things go. Mm -hmm. I felt that's and good. So, that's and good. So, yeah, that's what it was. It was a therapy session. I, you know, me and Vendon, uh, original TP mom member, my best friend, me and Vendon, we talk about that now. We would talk about how, you know, TP mob rehearsal was therapy for us. We were in our 20s going through everything that 20 year olds go through, raising new families, getting new jobs, getting, you know, uh, 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 failing and succeeding, all the things that happen in your 20s. And we had a, we had a place to come. And we didn't even know it was therapy. We would just start talking about what was going on. We would hold hands and to get ready to pray. And then people would start opening up about what they're going through. And then we would start talking about how you can get through that. And, you know, I, I'm going through that thing, same thing too. And, you know, it, we were learning how to be husbands. We were learning how to be wives. We were learning mm -hmm. how to be, you know, being at a new job and, you know, making money that we've never made before and you know getting bad credit and getting you know our cars repossessed and coming back from bad i mean all that stuff mm -hmm. through the same things that you all go through in your 20s we were going through but we had a place on monday night to come and prayer turning out to be group therapy you know so we would start praying at 9 30 we wouldn't sometimes get out to midnight mm -hmm. you know and it wasn't because we were all speaking in tongue laying on the floor we would just be talking to each other you're going to get through this. We would start crying. We, then we would pray. Then we'd come out of the prayer and talk some more. You know? So it was those moments. And then the, the, not to mention the music, how things would just happen in rehearsal with music. Mm -hmm. And we would go to this praise. Mm -hmm. The trigger word, <laughs> the trigger word was the praise and worship thing. You know, we call it praise. And, we, it was, but now when I think about it, it was worship. Mm -hmm. Because we would get on something, and it would whether it be oh God, I don't know. Uh, remember, we saw we did a song called "Crazy." Um, I'm so crazy, but crazy about crazy, crazy man. I remember going in, as the church people say, going in. We would go in on a funky song like "I'm so crazy," but the vamp said, "I'm so crazy, crazy about you, Jesus. I'm crazy about you." Mm -hmm. Think about the things that you go crazy about and not to be crazy about Jesus. My goodness. And so now that I know how to say it now with, the, all, all, with all the trigger words, the anointing would fall. We didn't call it the anointing. Then we didn't know what it was called. It was just, yeah. we knew it was the Holy Spirit, but it was, it was one of those moments and we would start crying on the songs that church people were like, wow, we never thought you would go in on a song like that. 